Jennifer Uta, she would face off against Bouchard of France. Last time the two met was the semi-final of the World Championships in 2018, where Abe took her first world title. Could Bouchard now turn the tables? Your commentator is former world champion Neil Adams. Hard fought match, and it looks to me as if it could go into extra time. Abe going forwards, what an attack that was! Beautiful Uchimata didn't quite have the hands for it. Seconds ticking away here. Bouchard just behind. And it's going to go to Golden Score. Meanwhile, the pressure was on Hifumi, as he would face reigning world champion Mariyama Joshiro. Mariyama was the man who stopped Abe from retaining his world title in Tokyo this year. And the man who, should he secure gold here in Osaka, would wrap up the 66 kilogram Olympic spot at the expense of Abe. And Mariyama showed no sign of weakness as he carved his way through the field with breathtaking judo. Two outstanding Uchimatas set up the dream final. Brilliant match between these two and it's gonna go to golden score again. You could cut the atmosphere with a knife. These two are giving everything. Back with Uta, something had to give. Well, three and a half minutes into Golden Score, and Bouchard's got to do something now. Can't afford another penalty. She's behind on attacks. There's an attack. Oh, and she's stolen it. Yoko Otoshi, and she drives her over, and Bouchard has stolen it. What an amazing attack that was. And Abe Uta, well, she can't believe it. That drop Yoko Satemiwaza there from Bouchard came just at the right time and over she went there. She gets driven over. Look at the drive she gets. She did threaten with it a couple of times, but this time she drives for the championship and the title. It was an amazing attack and Bouchard steals it and what a time to do it. Brilliant stuff and gold for France. After Uta's shock defeat, could Hifumi keep his Olympic dream alive in golden score? Mariyama is behind here. Got two penalties up there, can't afford another one. And Abe, oh, he counters him. What a time to do it. He knew he had to win this match to keep his Olympic dreams alive. This man here, he knows now that he's got to do more. If Mariyama had won, he knows that he would have gone, but now it means that the Olympic place is still up for grabs. That was magnificent from Abe. After the finals, a devastated Uta was consoled by her brother on a day of mixed emotions. Uta, still favorite to represent Japan at under 52 kilograms next summer, and Hifumi now firmly back in the mix. With strong internal competition for the Olympic place, both know that they cannot rest if we are to have a family fairy tale come the Games next summer.